you are also in that relationship not just because you want to have a boyfriend and you don't want to be lonely it is also because you want the money that man has and you're too lazy to work for that money yourself you have wasted your life and now you need somebody to come and get you out of the hole that you have put yourself in you don't have to lie to yourself well that's one of the worst things that you can do to yourself hey family welcome to another video if you're new here hello my name is Benay Bello and this is the get better podcast so if you like interesting anonymous stories relationship topics and self-development videos then this is the channel for you you're welcome and we really hope you stay with us so today's video is a chit chat you guys already know this because once the big microphone is not here it's a chit chat so we are going to be talking about something a little bit sensitive and a topic that most women do not want to hear but it's a get better podcast we talk about things that will make you better no matter how inconvenient it might sound no matter how inconvenient it might be for you to hear things like this we have to say it and i would say it exactly the way it is women come closer let's talk we need to start taking accountability our lack of accountability is destroying us and the thing is men do not even want you to take accountability because it benefits them i know it's easy for you to blame every misfortune on another person especially when it comes to relationship i know it's very easy for you to blame everything that went down and bad on the other person instead of you sitting down looking into the mirror and taking accountability for the things that you did wrong and for the for the decisions that you have made that have brought you to where you are i understand it's hard somebody said that in relationship it's so hard for women to take accountability that instead of us taking the time to grow and develop ourselves we blame the other person when we had the power to grow up and make the bitter decisions to get better in life but no we just put it on the other person which is very true there is no logical reason why you should be telling a story of how a guy treated you for five years of how a man was disrespecting you was cheating on you was bringing women to your matrimonial bed was texting other girls was made other girls come and harass you he gave me hiv he did this he was deceiving me for five years he didn't love me he beat me up there is no logical reason why you should be saying that kind of story and be mentioning things like five years when he started the first few years what made you sit down there and keep taking that shit from him what is it because when scenarios like this happen in cases like this i mean most of the time you hear the women saying that he's such a bad man he mistreated me he did that to me yes i know he has a duty to protect to love you and to be the nicest person he can be to you but do not forget that you also had a duty to yourself to love yourself and walk away from situations where you're not being respected where you're not being loved where you're not being valued where you're not being heard where you're being dragged through the mud you have a responsibility to walk out of that situation you can't sit down there and keep blaming the man for everything oh he did this he's the one he's he's not the only one it is also you and if we don't start getting to the point where we sit in front of the mirror and take accountability for ourselves we're gonna have a problem if we don't get to the point where we sit down in front of the mirror and take accountability for the fact that we have allowed the society to pressure us to do the things that we're not supposed to do then we are always going to have problems we're going to continue to have problems we're going to continue to destroy ourselves we're going to continue to destroy the future of our children and then we're going to continue to to make it harder for the next generation because if you've taken trash if you're taking trash you're also teaching your sons to give trash to other women you're also teaching your daughters to also take trash because that's the only way out we need to take accountability for the parts that we play in the misfortunes of our lives especially in relationships 
oh i married him because the society was pressuring me to get married before i'm 30. you also had a duty to understand that you are the society and you also make the rules you also had a duty to yourself to not be pressured by the society and stay where you find happiness and wait until you find the right person you cannot keep blaming the society for everything of course yes society has a part to be blamed but your duty to yourself should be bigger and greater than the society's pressure the societal pressure i mean your duty to yourself should be greater and bigger than the the things that the society would say it should be and you need to look in the mirror and tell yourself the truth tell yourself i have a duty to myself remind yourself that you are the society i am part of the society i make the rules and i am choosing to stay where i'm happy and i am choosing to walk away from places and situations where i am not being valued i know it's hard it's hard to 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 take the blame for yourself it's easy to put it on someone else it's easy to put the the harder work on another person it's easy for you to put the job of um self-development and being a better person having a better character on your partner and not on having a better character on your own part to walk away from that situation nobody had tied your placenta with them and nobody is tying your destiny with them i understand there are certain situations where it's not easy to walk away where you've been brainwashed and i totally understand that that's exactly that's different from this one and i'm talking about narcissists right if you've encountered a narcissist and all that i totally understand that it is not easy when you're dealing with people like that but i'm also still going to say that there are ways to spot a narcissist the very few times you meet them and get to interact with them and this is where it actually gets funny because we actually notice those red flags and those subtle things before we get inside i was talking to somebody a few months ago it was even up to a few months ago a few weeks ago and he is actually a narcissist and the moment i started spotting small small things about him i'm like binary if you don't walk away now it's going to be harder for you to walk away with everything that you know with every thing that you are <laughs> you are going to find it very hard to walk away from this person. In most cases, it's easier to be safe than to be sorry. It's better, I mean, to be safe than to be sorry. And this is a situation where I had to like stop being friends with this person. I'm like, I cannot even be friends with you because whether it's friendship or relationship, you do not want to have anything deep to do with a narcissist they would drain you they would oh my god being friends with this person for a few for a few weeks was terrible because i get to meet a lot of people via social media and then some are interesting i get to talk to them you know friendship grows into different stages and this friendship was something that would have been so good in my head <laughs> but i had to clock out and get out of that before i get trapped so yes, you are still to be blamed to a certain extent when you get yourself entangled with a narcissist because a narcissist can hardly, can hardly cover their tracks. I mean, they can hardly cover their spots. The minute you meet them, you're going to notice certain spots on them. You're going to notice certain things about them. And this is one of the reasons why we also need to educate ourselves, especially women. You need to protect yourself. You need to educate yourself sitting down all day watching unnecessary funny tiktok videos when you see the one talking about narcissists you quickly scroll when you see the one talking about um how to spot this you quickly you need to learn to sit down and educate yourself on things like this so that you don't get too deep before it's too late i was talking to a friend the other day and we we're discussing about the society and everything that women are facing and then i was like i think we have gotten to a point where we women can no longer put a lot of blame on the patriarchy i know it's sensitive i'm not saying that the patriarchy shouldn't be blamed i know what the patriarchy has caused and what they are even still causing but i think that women have gained little power to be able to change things a little bit 
I said a little bit. I didn't say totally. I didn't say 360. I didn't say 180, right? Just a little bit, especially when it comes to the societal norm, especially when it comes to the men that we are raising, especially when it comes to the women that we are raising, right? Mothers should start changing things. And that is because we are accountable to certain things. And this is still on the topic of taking accountability, right? If we sit down and we're like, I'm going to take accountability for this thing in my generation. Because the next two generations are going to be looking forward. They're going to be looking at me. So if I decide right now to give in to pressure and marry the wrong man and marry the wrong person, I am the problem. <laughs> that is the account we have to start taking. I will be the problem. I am now the problem. Because my great-granddaughters would have looked up to the things that I have done, would have looked up to the way that I have paved for them, would walk on the path that I have created. So I need to start creating better path for them. I need to wait till I find the perfect person before I say I do. And I, you know I don't mean perfect in the sense of perfect. Nobody's really perfect. But you get what I mean. So that is taking accountability. We can no longer be blaming everybody, everything, society, demand. You have a duty to yourself. And right now, we have a little bit of power to take back control over our life and our happiness and our purpose. Now, the second thing we have to take accountability for is finance. We have to admit to ourselves that not having our own money is the reason for many things that we take, for the many pressure that we decide to give into. Don't lie to yourself. You married that man not just because the society was pressuring you to get married. It was also because you know that you have nothing to show for all the life that you've lived. You know that if you do not marry him, you would not be able to feed properly. You would not be able to buy that bone straight that you want to buy. You would not be able to live the lavish life that you want to live. You married that man also because of your financial status. You want to elevate your life financially. That is also one of the reasons why you married that man. You are also in that relationship not just because you want to have a boyfriend and you don't want to be lonely. It is also because you want the money that man has. And you are too lazy to work for that money yourself. You have wasted your life and now you need somebody to come and get you out of the hole that you have put yourself in. You don't have to lie to yourself. Well, that's one of the worst things that you can do to yourself. One of the worst things you can do is lie to yourself. There is no point lying to yourself. Even if you don't tell anybody the truth, just tell yourself the truth right now. The major reason you're there in that marriage where they're beating you up and your kids are seeing everything happening is not because of the kids. You yourself know that the kids are getting more damage with you being there than you leave in. If you leave, it's better for the kids. You know. You know you're there because you don't have any financial security. And this is not me blaming you. This video is not blaming you. I am not blaming you for all of these things. I'm just telling you to take accountability. Because it's when you figure out what the problem is that change begins. So admit to yourself the truth and maybe we can start getting better from there. We can start changing things from there. You can start telling your daughter, make your own money. Don't rely on, oh my God, I'll get married. Get a purpose, work on your purpose. Even if you can't change things for yourself, but admitting the truth to yourself that this is why I am staying in this marriage would help you to raise better children. But if you don't tell yourself the truth, it keeps spoiling from there. 
you have nothing to tell your daughter. You have nothing better to tell your daughter because you've not even admitted the truth. So you've, you don't even know what the problem is or you've not even admitted the problem to yourself. So how are you going to teach someone else to choose better and be better? So we need to please take accountability. Even if we're not taking accountability for ourselves, we are taking accountability to make our daughters better, our granddaughters, our grand great daughters better so that they can choose better, be better, and walk on a better, in a better path. Let me tell you something, and I really hope you would understand this. We are in the middle of a revolution. Women are fighting for a better life. And when the world is going through a revolution like this, especially if it is one gender fighting for something that they feel like the other gender has caused or is not giving them, there is always a war. It's like we're in the middle of a war, right? It is not as if we are trying to hate each other or, you know, do harm, cause harm to each other, but it is just natural that when something like this is happening, when a revolution like this is happening, there is one part, one side against another side, okay? So it's like the women are fighting against the men, the men are fighting against the women, everything, the gender war is, is crazy, everywhere is in chaos. So we are in the middle of a war and it is not as if, uh, I don't know how to explain this, but let me just say this, right? You as an opponent cannot put yourself in a situation where the other person or the other opponent will be able to attack you. You have to build a wall around your city. It is one city against another city right now. You have to build a wall around your city. You have to protect yourself. You have to be prepared so that when the other city attacks, at least the damage wouldn't be too much. This is one of the reasons why you're hearing terrible stories among husband and wife. You don't want, they don't want their wife to work. Their wife is progressing. They're saying things like, I, I made my wife lose, lose her job. I made my wife not get a job. I, I, I ugh. This is one of the reasons why you're hearing terrible things going on in marriages and you're like, are you guys not supposed to be partners? We're in the middle of a revolution. It is not going to be easy. So you need to protect yourself. There are great men out there, of course, but I'm sorry, but there are more trashy men out there than the great ones. And the probability that you're going to run into trashy men is way higher than the probability that you're going to meet a great guy. So you have to protect yourself. This is all I'm going to say in this video. I do not want this video to be very long and I don't even know how far gone we are, but I think it's already long. So this is the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I really hope this video hits home and we start making changes and taking accountability, even if it's not for ourselves, but for our children and the generation to come. So thanks for watching. See you in the next episode. If you've not checked out our anonymous interesting stories and also dissecting and giving advice i'm going to link it in the description below so you can watch some of our interesting videos so once again thanks for watching see you in the next video before you go don't forget you are enough and god has given you everything you need to succeed just make sure you push bye and see you later